It turns out that Uranus has a bit more going on than we all thought. JWST, the James Webb Space Telescope, has discovered a brand new, previously unknown moon orbiting the ice giant planet. This isn't the first time that JWST has imaged Uranus, so in this video we'll also recap those images and talk about how this new moon was spotted when it hadn't ever been seen before. And yes, if you want to go ahead and leave your favourite joke about the name of the planet Uranus down below, then feel free to do so if you'd like. And stick around right to the end of the video for the chance to see a brand new, never before released photo of my new cat. The discovery of the new moon of Uranus took place back on the 2nd of February 2025 as part of a JWST program to study the moons and rings of Uranus. Yes, Uranus has rings, just like all four of the outer planets. This new Uranius object brings the known moons of the planet up to 29. It's a pretty small moon, estimated to be just 6 miles, that size assumes it has the same reflectivity, something we call albedo in astronomy, to Uranus's other moons. This tiny size meant the moon wasn't visible to other probes, even including NASA's Voyager 2 mission, which actually flew past the Uranus system in the 1980s. But the moon couldn't hide from the massive mirrors of JWST, with its large area collecting huge amounts of light, even from small moons like this. As I said, JWST has imaged Uranus before, and those images are absolutely stunning. They reveal so many things that are often missed about this beautiful icy giant. First off, there's the rings, which are suddenly so obvious in these pictures, when normally any other telescope would struggle to pick them out. There's also weather patterns in the atmosphere of the planet. We can see clouds and even aurorae in some of those pictures. Then there's the previously known moons. Some huge and bright, some smaller and fainter, but still visible here. Let me know how many of the rings and moons you can spot in each of the images, and which of those previous two JWST Uranus images that you prefer. Now, alongside the discovery of the new moon, which was also announced in an official e-telegram, a sort of modern way of continuing the traditional telegram announcements of newly discovered space objects, we also got new images of the planet to show us that discovery. Here, we can again see the planet in the centre, surrounded by its wonderful ring system. This brand new time lapse shows us the new moon, temporarily called S 2025 U1, as well as 13 of Uranus's previously known moons. Another 15 moons orbit the planet, but they aren't visible in this video. The time lapse is actually a composite of the same data treated in three different ways. This is due to the drastic differences in brightness of various parts of the image, namely the planet itself, the bigger moons that reflect more light and the rings, and the smaller moons, including our new friend. This new moon will eventually be renamed in the same way as all of the Uranus moons, after characters from either Shakespeare or the poet Alexander Pope. Of course, if you have a good suggestion for that name, leave it down below for me to see. The final decision for the name, though, has to go through a committee called the IAU. I went into way more detail on how that naming works in my video about Zuzve, the moon of Venus that was sort of discovered and then named after a typo on a children's poster. Link in the description if you'd like to check that one out. The new moon of Uranus was spotted in a series of 10 40-minute exposures using the near-infrared camera on board JWST. That's about six hours of footage that were required for us to collect enough light to see this dim moon. And in the GIF we were just looking at, we can see it orbiting on a pretty much perfectly circular orbit, meaning it is most likely a natural satellite of Uranus and not some sort of captured moon or asteroid. It would have formed in place around the planet and not be a captured moon or asteroid that originated somewhere else. Uranus has one of the most complicated moon systems in the solar system. Sure, Jupiter and Saturn have many more known moons, but Uranus has more small inner moons, and they have a complex relationship with the rings and with each other, making them a fascinating system to study. The fact that this new one we've just seen is so small and faint also makes it very likely that there are more similar moons still waiting to be discovered around Uranus. 
The new one is the 14th member of an intricate system of moons that orbit inwards of the largest moons, called Miranda, Ariel, Umbriel, Titania, and Oberon, visible in older JWST images too. The new one is located about 35,000 miles from the center of Uranus, orbiting between the moons of Ophelia and Bianca, just outside the main ring system. This is all another cool example of JWST helping explore the universe. Sometimes that's far off galaxies and nebulae, and sometimes it's our own solar system. In this case, JWST is taking over the legacy of missions like Voyager 2, and studying the outer solar system in more detail than has ever been possible before. Leave me any questions or comments you have about all of this down below, and thanks a lot for watching. If you like JWST and also like hot drinks and cool art, then check out the JWST mugs and other bits that we're now selling. They're all printed on demand if you order one and sent straight to you from the printing place. Ordering anything really helps to support the channel and the videos I make here, and also my artist friends who do the designs for these things. We also have some awesome things from the Animals in Space video, available as stickers and mugs and other bits, if you want to represent your favorite species of astronaut. No pressure, of course, but there's links down below if you're interested in any of that. Until next time, stay safe team. I'll see you soon. Bye.